Nucleophilic addition is a mechanism that is commonly observed during the reactions of aldehydes and ketones. Let's look at the reaction between propanone and a cyanide ion as an example. The carbonyl functional group is polar because oxygen is more electronegative than carbon. So this delta plus carbon is susceptible to attack by a nucleophile, or in other words, an electron pair donor. The cyanide ion has a pair of electrons that it's able to donate, so it behaves as a nucleophile. It will be electrostatically attracted towards the delta plus carbon atom and will move in to form a new bond to it. In doing so, the pi electrons in the carbonyl will be repelled all the way onto the oxygen atom, resulting in a negatively charged oxygen. Next, a lone pair on the oxygen will form a bond with an H plus ion to protonate it and form an OH. This results in a molecule that has both a hydroxy group and a nitrile group coming from the same carbon. We call this a hydroxy nitrile, or a cyanohydrin. So, nucleophilic addition typically occurs in two stages. First, we have the addition of the nucleophile to the carbonyl, and second, we have a protonation. If there's a leaving group bonded to the carbon of the carbonyl group, you can get a slightly different mechanism known as nucleophilic addition elimination, which I'll go over in the next video. An important thing to note with nucleophilic addition is that the carbonyl is trigonal planar, and so it's flat. This means that the nucleophile is equally likely to attack from either side of the carbonyl. If this addition results in the formation of a chiral carbon, 50% of the products will be one optical isomer and 50% of the products will be the other. This results in a racemic mixture, which is a mixture that contains each optical isomer in a 50-50 ratio, so that, overall, the mixture is not optically active, as both isomers effectively cancel each other out. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to support the channel, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.